Alright guys, Iron Man 3. I was a little rocked with it. I wasn't really a... I, it was a lot of anxiety, a lot of uh, serious, serious... I had to go see it open at night, drag the wife, big mistake. It wound up being a, a, disappointment, in my, a disappointment in my but, eyes. But, I, but he's gonna I don't think fill me in mistake. on what I was missing. Fill me in on some secrets, as he likes to call them. They're Easter eggs. They're Easter eggs, as they're known by fanboys. And he's a Marvel like bigger universe. I'm a, I'm a comic a huge book fanboy. I'm a comic book purist. You know, if it I doesn't mean, stick to what I read, and I'm ignorant. I'm talking about what I read. It really doesn't flow for me. But to the fans out there, here's the magic. explain explain to there's you know, magic to them this, this Marvel, what I was going through. This Marvel Cinematic Universe has magic because for the first time ever. The people who created those favorite purist comics that you love yeah. are making the movies. They care about the little things. They're, they do. They're they do. giving us tidbits and Easter eggs and mm -hmm. and future references that, as a fanboy, the future I, I have references geek is very important with yeah, this. Yeah, I have show. geekasms all over it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the future references is real important with this. Like, so Iron Man three, what did that do? As a, what are the links to to the other movies that we're going to be talking about here? Uh, starting off, let's just basically jump right to the suits. The suits was the biggest push, the biggest part of the movie that was the you know the, the advertising push. The suits. He was at Mark forty what? He was at Mark forty two. He the finally Iron Man made suit. it to uh, fully operational, let's say segmented, fly by yourself, individual no parts. pilot, right. individual parts. It basically was the top of what he could do with with these armors. Yeah, and but he's way past that. Well, as you saw, yeah. it didn't work out in his benefit for a lot of the movie. Right, he, right. Was, he was forced to adapt and evolve and, and actually play up the Tony Stark that we yeah. all know and love. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like Shane Black really gave us a character-driven movie. Shane Black ruined it. My he gave eyes. us a character-driven movie. Did, what did he do prior to that? Cop movies, right? He he did uh, Lethal Weapon. He was a, he was the director of Lethal Weapon. He directed Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, another uh, Robert Downey Jr. movie. I feel like he gave us a character-driven piece, but... I do understand all the all the negative feedback, and uh, with my 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 boy Loso, I would like to get into some of that neg negative feedback. Yeah, um, like mine. For one, <laughs> huge huge gap. The Iron Patriot armor was no go, mis no mishandled. Go. But and I have you know a they made fun of it in the movie. I have you know a theory. They made fun of it in the movie. I have a theory. Now here we go. Here's where it gets. Here's a theory. I have a theory. Okay. Theory on the Iron Man Patriot suit, correct? Yes, the Iron Patriot okay, armor. Go ahead. So my theory is, okay, in Iron Man 2, nah. when Tony was going through his worst moments and he thought he was going to die from the palladium in his chest, he told Rhodey to trust him. He said, Rhodey, I know what I'm doing. Rhodey's the guy who played War Machine. To popular to believe. Okay. Rhodey's the guy who played War Machine. Rhodey mm -hmm. is Colonel James Rhodes, for those who don't know. Okay, okay. Rhodey didn't trust him, jumped into the Mark II armor, and took it with him. Right, the silver, the all silver. Yes. Okay. Now, all of you who saw Iron Man 2, spoiler alert, if you didn't see Iron Man 2, go see Iron Man 2. But in Iron Man 2, spoiler alert, I'm saying it again. In Iron Man 2, <laughs> in Iron Man 2, Hammer Industries gets hacked by Ivan Vanko, and oh. the War Machine armor goes rogue. As we Ivan Vanko's tie into... Into, uh, Hydra. Exactly. Yeah. Alright, so okay, so you got these little, it's all this woven... It's it's all these threads, all these threads. But, uh, right. Hail Hydra. Um, Hail Hydra. <laughs> so the two you fists see, in the air. yeah, <laughs> you see that Hail Hydra. You see that uh, had Rhodey listened to Tony and not taken the armor, it wouldn't have got hacked by Vanko. Then mm -hmm. you fa let's fast forward to Iron Man three. The armor is still in enemy hands because now that we see that AIM is responsible for the redesign for the Iron Patriot. AIM, which is ran by the Mandarin. Which is ran by, actually, Aldrich Killian, who was calling himself the Mandarin. Right. We can get, we'll get into the Mandarin right. next. That's my next point. Okay, so hold on. The Iron Man suits at the end, some of the most important was the early Hulkbuster suit, correct? Which is called Igor? The Igor version. The Igor version. Okay. Yes. Now... Um, we got to see a lot of a lot of armors in that last scene. And Give me some of the most important armors that were seen in that movie, and then we'll move on to the next one. If you notice, there's a, there's an armor of all black, and the the fanboy speculation is, after Tony hacked Shield and got all the designs and all their intel, mm. they got the designs on the Destroyer armor, which in fact was mocked and copied by Tony mm -hmm. to make a Destroyer armor of his own. Okay. And that was one of the big things us fanboys were turned on by when we saw that Now, scene. what'd you tell me earlier about there's a small tie-in to Avengers 2? Possibly, right? We're going to say possibly. When he hacked 
the 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 shield carrier. We're we're getting into spoiler territory. Everything that we're talking about now, we're talking about Age of Ultron. We're talking about the new the new origin story for Ultron. And right now, the speculation is that Tony will indeed play a vital role in the creation of uh, of Ultron. Now, I was telling you earlier that there's another fanboy Easter egg or or future reference where when Tony hacks shields files and plants a virus he also gets contaminated or given a virus where his system will leave Jarvis open for for future tampering by yeah, let's yeah, say maybe Ultron maybe he doesn't have malware bites hey we're coming right back with uh, Thor 2 uh, the, Thor dark, the world. dark World Thor the Dark World Easter egg coming right back soon <laughs>